Josh Green here for Seconds Out. Delighted to be joined by Mark Chamberlain, victorious once again here at York Hall. Your immediate feelings after that? Yeah, great. I'm going to go back to the hotel now, get a nice burger and pizza down me, and then fly away on holiday for a week, switch off, and then get back in the gym. You've got to use that time to switch off after many weeks in camp, I'm sure. Is it important to take that time just to relax? Definitely. You need to recharge your batteries, training two, three times a day, flying abroad for training camps, travelling all over the country for sparring. It takes toll on you. You just need to switch off, recharge and go again. I know going into this fight you expected him to go at you and be aggressive in there. That's certainly what he did in the opening rounds, but you ground him down and you eventually got that stop. Yeah, I want these type of opponents because I train hard for these opponents and I'm ready to start pushing on with my career now. And I believe the right fight's at the right time. I believe that was a good opponent at the stage of my career. 16 fights, 10 wins, been in there, ch t challenged for other titles, got some form of Italian ch uh, belt, never been stopped, knocked out, and he's been in with some good boys. And yeah, I, just, I was the first person not to just stop him, but knock him clean out. I was going to say, tonight we've seen a couple of fights where they've been over in the opening round and that sometimes maybe doesn't do too much for your development, but to get some rounds under the belt is, is key for you to be moving forward. Yeah, definitely. Um, I'm a bit of a slow starter as it is, so I've got 10 rounds to do it. After three, four, I started getting going, put the shots together and, and that's what happens when I get going. Is that slow starting something you're going to have to work on as you move forward in your career? Yeah, I'll be honest with you, your call's a great venue, but getting changed in a small changing room where you can barely swing a cat around in is not ideal but never mind similar out there as well the crowd are right on top of you what's the experience like fighting when they are right on top of you it's brilliant here because you can't beat the atmosphere especially when it's buzzing like it is and everyone hanging over the railings down at you you can hear them shouting it, it is brilliant it's a good experience and i'm happy to come back here and fight again i've already boxed here about six seven times three times as an amateur so it's nothing new to me pretty much your home venue nowadays then yeah, why not? If everyone likes travelling up here, then yeah, I'll fight here all the time if I had to, but you got to go where the venues take you, I suppose. Your call away for your fans, I guess it is. Um, you say you've got the belt, IBF ranking, and you're climbing those rankings slowly. What is the next big goal for you? Is it the British? Um, I'll be honest with you, I sat down with Frank in the office last week. Um, he wants me to defend the title a few times this year, see where I am at the end of the year get into a nice position in the rankings and then who knows where we, we go at the end of the year really I'll leave it to Frank he's the main man and if there's anyone that can get me pushing on for these bigger fights he's the man for it lovely well congratulations Mark appreciate your time